Hey, what up, Raider Nation? It's your boy, Raider John. Just wanted to hit you up from my backyard and, you know, change the scenery. Uh, you know, ain't nothing really going on right now in the news besides, you know, same old bullshit, haters talking shit. Uh, there's an article out right now really frustrates the crap out of me. Um, you know, same old analyst talking trash. Uh... They're saying that we're ridiculous because we don't resign our homegrown players. And uh, I don't know if any of you got that NFL app. That's pretty much where, it's, where it came from. So if you, anybody that got this NFL app that gets an update on Nathan Raiders, um, basically that's what it is. It's just pure analyst talking shit. Um, and... And, um, honestly, I'm getting frustrated with it. It pisses me off. Like, dude, like, okay, it's one thing, one thing that we haven't resigned Valdir. Legit. You guys could talk shit on that. Another thing, haven't resigned Houston. Y'all could totally talk shit about that. But this motherfucker doesn't really point out on that. He doesn't really talk about that. Uh, this guy decides, to, out of all the players, he picks one player that he wants to make an article about and how bad we are re-signing our homegrown players. This guy decides to talk about Jacoby Ford. Yeah, he did a whole article about how we messed up and that we're messing up because we're letting him take... Uh, you know, taste free agency, and we're letting go of our homegrown players. Listen, I'm a fan of Jacoby Ford when he, you know, first started. That that guy fucking was legit, especially that game he did against the Chiefs. That was beautiful. Uh, but bottom bottom line is he has not produced. He has not produced for shit. The last three years, he has not produced. He's been jack. He's been getting injured. He's Seriously, not done any runbacks in the last two years, man. It's ridiculous. And the la- I mean, yeah, he got injured in a season-ending injury that one year, but still, it's come on, man. He's fragile as shit, and we don't need that right now. Um, uh, shit. Anyways, uh, that. So yeah, that 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 happened. Another fucking hater. Uh, any anyways, these fucking analysts though, they piss me off. Uh. Uh, actually, um, what was it? Um, uh, was another one. I think yeah, there was another one. Uh, they're they're at it again, talking about how we should get Matt Schaub, how fucking he's the best fucking available quarterback for us. First off, the best available quarterback is Zick. I don't give a fuck what anybody says. He is. He's the best fucking available quarterback. Who look at the other options? You got Mark Sanchez. You got fucking um, Josh Freeman. You got fucking. Like, well, well, Matt Castle? Matt Castle? Yeah, he, he's legit, right? No, sorry, none. None of those guys really are legit in my eyes, and I'm sorry, but he's not. they're not. Uh, Josh Freeman, probably out of all those guys I just mentioned, probably the best one out of all of them. But out of be, above all of them, I think Zeke is probably the best guy available in the free agent market. If not, then just drop the fucking QB for real. I don't give a shit anymore. I am against it. I have been against it from the beginning. If you watch, go back and watch any of my videos. I've always been against drafting a QB because I don't think we should draft a QB. <clears throat> but, you know, if there's one there in the second or third round, take him. You know, he could be the next Russell Wilson. You never fucking know. Um, but, you know, uh, I don't think we should waste our first round on a QB. Uh, so that pretty much does it. Uh, not, another thing going down, uh, there's been talk about how we might move to Portland. Now, like I said before, I'm a Raider fan. I'm a Raider supporter. I will support my team no matter where the fuck they go. I don't give a shit where they go. I will always be a Raider fan, okay? But let's let's look at this. We're too, so busy hating on each other on the North California, Southern California with the LA and Oakland um, Raider fan beef. That we don't even realize our fucking team could literally move out of California. Do you realize that? That's how fucking bad we are right now. We don't even realize that. We need to stop hating on each other, guys. Seriously. We need to keep the Raiders in California. Period. 
I, I am, like I said before, I will always support my team no matter where the fuck they go, but we need to keep them in California. No matter where the fuck they go, if, even if they go to L.A., fuck, man, at least they're in California. Even if they stay, like, go further deep in Oakland, like, you know, even if they go fucking way deeper in, uh, over in Northern California, at least they stay in California. If they go to Portland, you fucking kidding me? Uh, I would I would be so fucking pissed off that they had to leave the state just to get a goddamn stadium. That is bullshit. Um, anyways, that's pretty much what I want to talk about. Uh, oh yeah, one more thing. Uh, another thing I wanted to put a shout out to Raiders Unleashed Crush 1995, Raiders Central, and the Black and Silver Way. They're gonna be doing a collaboration. Everybody that you know that's subscribed to me and hasn't subscribed to them yet, yo, y'all gotta subscribe to them. They legit, straight up talkers. Um. Uh, they're going to be doing a video. Make sure to look out for that. Uh, they, I love watching their stuff, man. So, looking forward to it. Um, also, I wanted to talk about something. I never really showed on my Raider Gear video on my wall. So, this is uh, my old room. So, this is my old room. It's actually, actually painted on the wall. It's a Raider emblem on the wall. I, uh, I This is actually a funny story behind it. Uh, so... I'm like, you know, I am think I'm like, what, 13, 12, some, somewhere around there. And I live in this little room, and I, I was I loved it because I had my own room. Because before that, I was staying at the room with my sister, which I hated. Um, but, so, I had my room, alright? And my mom wanted to knock, like, do some rearranging around the house and, you know, knock a wall down. And that wall just happened to, you know connect to my room <laughs> and she wanted to make my room into the laundry room so uh here's the deal i'm like uh no no i i said i didn't believe she was gonna do it i didn't think she was gonna do it one day i come home from school and i i'm like oh you had a good day so I, I walk in open my door and my wall is gone completely gone i mean it's gaping hole I, you open my fucking doors, you just see open space, you see my backyard, she knocked down the damn wall. <laughs> I love my mom, but that really got me angry. Um, so, I'm, my mom's all, we're gonna build you a new room, don't worry, and I'm like all depressed, I go, I go, and I'm like, no, no, why, you know, it's my stuff, why, why would you knock down the wall? And like I said, she wanted to make a laundry room out of my room. So I slept on the couch for about a year and a half. Well, they ended up finally finishing my room, which is what you see before you. This was my original room. Uh, and they asked me, you know, oh, well, did you want any special features on it? The certain paint? I told them, yeah, I do. I picked the, I picked the color in the room and I told them one thing. I wanted this on my wall, so that's what, that's what I asked for when I was a kid. I told them I, I want a Raider emblem on my wall, so that's what they did for me. And you know, so you ever want to get something done, um, let your mom knock down your wall or something. I don't know. <laughs> and I got a nice Raider wall out of it. So that pretty much does it. Just a quick video today. Uh, ain't really much to talk about right now, man. Uh, just a couple. Of Things going down, I think, a couple moves being made. We signed a few uh, free agents uh, that, um, you know, were on the roster, retained them. And honestly, from what I noticed, it looked like McKenzie is just trying to cover basis on the special teams because a lot of these players are straight-up special team stars. Um, you know, um, Brandon Ross, yeah, he's legit. I think he's probably a really good backup. Um, backup, but... I mean, come on, man. He got burned a few times in that Eagles game, but so did DJ Hayden, our number one pick. So, yeah. Um, uh, we'll, we'll see what happens. Uh, and then we also resigned one of the Burnett brothers, and I'm happy about that. I like those two, man, and I hope we keep them around for a long time because they're fucking really good players. Um, that pretty much does it for today, though. Uh, I'll hit you guys up with another video pretty soon, and uh, see you then. Go Raiders.